A leaking pressure relief valve on a water heater can be a bad valve or it can be an indication of thermal expansion or a malfunctioning water heater. Before doing any troubleshooting, you'll need to understand thermal expansion and know if you have an open or closed water heating system. A closed water heating system has a one-way valve. The valve allows water to flow from the municipal water supply and into your home's water system. If working properly, it won't allow water from your home's water system to flow back into the municipal supply. The one-way valve could be a check valve, a pressure reducing valve with no bypass, a backflow preventer, or a water meter that has a check valve contained in it. Typically, you'll find one of these valves located where the water flows into your home, somewhere near the water meter. Thermal expansion occurs when water is heated, the water expands in volume, water is virtually uncompressible, the expanded water pushes back through the cold water pipe and it can't get past the one-way valve. If the system has an expansion tank and it's working properly, the water pushes on the expansion tank and compresses the air. If there's no air in the expansion tank or the system doesn't have an expansion tank, then the pressure increases due to the expansion of the water. All water heaters have a temperature and pressure valve. And most people just call this a pressure relief valve. I'll call this valve the TMP valve from now on. It has two purposes. If the pressure in the system increases above 150 PSI due to thermal expansion, this valve opens and releases water. If the water heater malfunctions and the temperature increases above 210 degrees Fahrenheit, the valve will also open. If the expansion tank doesn't have any air in it or a closed water heating system doesn't have an expansion tank, whenever there is thermal expansion and the pressure in a system increases above 150 PSI, then the valve will open. An open water heating system has no valve or it could have a pressure reducing valve with a bypass. When thermal expansion occurs on this type of system, the expanded water is able to either pass through the bypass on the pressure reducing valve or because there's no valve it can pass back into the municipal water supply. To prevent thermal expansion, set the water heater to vacation mode. Open a faucet to relieve any pressure that may have built up in the system. Attach a water pressure test gauge downstream from the water pressure regulator on a faucet, on a hot water heater drain valve, or a washing machine shutoff valve. The normal range for water pressure should be between 40 and 80 pounds PSI. Most communities have adopted plumbing codes that require a pressure reducing valve be installed if the municipal water supply pressure is greater than 80 pounds. This is an open system with a pressure reducing valve that has a bypass. The municipal pressure is normally about 90 pounds and it's being reduced to around 50 pounds by the water pressure reducing valve. 10 minutes has passed and 
the water pressure is staying steady just a little bit below 50 pounds now if the water pressure were to slowly creep up and head towards the street pressure around 90 pounds then I would know that my pressure reducing valve either has dirt in it and it's being um, held open or it has failed if the street pressure were to be around 150 pounds then a leaking pressure reducing valve could cause the T and P valve on the water heater to open up. I've proved that the pressure reducing valve is maintaining the correct pressure. Uh, this test is good for both an open or closed system. I'll do a test to find out if thermal expansion is causing the T and P valve to open. I'll increase the setting on the water heater until it starts to heat water. You could also open a hot water tap for maybe five, six, seven minutes to cause this to happen. On this normally operating open system, the pressure rises to the municipal pressure. The bypass in the pressure reducing valve is allowing the heated water to flow back into the municipal supply system. When the heating cycle is completed, two conditions will cause the pressure to return to normal. A tap is opened, or after some time passes, the pressure will eventually drop back. If the pressure on this open system increased to 150 pounds and opened the temperature and pressure valve, then odds are good that the bypass on the pressure reducing valve has not opened. If 150 pounds is reached on a closed system, then it's likely that the bladder in the expansion tank has failed and it's filled with water. If the system passes the thermal expansion test, then the last thing to check is that the water heater is not heating water over the 210 degree Fahrenheit limit. 212 degrees Fahrenheit at sea level is the boiling point for water. Boiling water coming out of faucets would likely be something that you'd notice. If a thermostat failed and a heater does not stop heating water, then the temperature and pressure valve, if properly working, should open at 210 degrees and stay open until the temperature falls below 210 degrees. The recommended temperature setting is 120 degrees. Superheated water can cause a water heater to explode. If you think you have this condition, do not ignore it. If your system passes all these tests, then it's likely that you do have a bad TMP valve. Shortly, I will be posting a video showing how to replace one of these valves. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.